musical. Um, I grew up in a household where every occasion there was that somebody could sit at the piano and draw everybody else around. They gave me a bass when I was 10. Um, I started singing when I was like four or five. And it was almost like we just didn't know any differently. We thought it was almost like we took for granted, like doesn't everybody get together and sing in four-part harmony? You don't, you don't do that around Christmas time, no? I grew up in Orange County and the OC ska scene was actually um, really strong at the time. Um, we had bands to look up to, like No Doubt, I mean Real Big Fish, uh, the Aquabats actually rehearsed like down the street. We played like a, a couple hundred shows in, in three or four years, which is nuts. I don't know how we did it, not a couple hundred, maybe like, I'm exaggerating, maybe like 70. Yeah, a lot. It felt, yeah, I don't know, you're a kid, you think it's a ton. Um, and yeah, I've basically just been playing and performing ever since then. The album itself, like I said, has uh, live instrumentalists on every track, um, which is pretty unique for a pop album. But uh, the song that I'm performing tonight, We Are Infinite, I'm actually performing the dance remix, which is number 31 currently on the club dance charts for Billboard right now. This is this is just the promo album. It just has the pop rock version and then two remixes. Yeah, so the album's not out yet, but um, right now we're promoting the dance single. Um, and it's just a blast. This is my first time performing it ever. Um, and I couldn't be more excited to be here at the Avalon in Hollywood. It's a historic club with so many of my favorite bands have played here. Um, the song came from a place of just being in the moment. And I feel like in life today, that's something that we never do. We're always thinking about what's next or we're always checking our phones. And it's so easy to ignore just feeling alive right now. We are in I was just so honored that he wanted to do this song. Um, Dave's had 71 Billboard Club number ones, and uh, so I'm hoping to make 72. Um, he's worked with Beyonce, with Selena Gomez, with Britney Spears. I mean, the list just goes on of these power divas, and um, it was just such an honor. So watching it climb up the charts, is it's like a dream come true. Um, we did the video with John Danovic. He's an amazing director. and. Um, it was so much fun. I'd never done a video before, so that was my first shoot. And uh, it's not that I didn't know what to expect, but I thought I was going to be all stoic, you know, only ask for water if I absolutely needed it, like not sit down. I was just pumped. And then the reality of standing in stilettos for like 12 hours hit me, and I needed to sit down. <laughs> I had no idea how long those shoots take, and you're doing, you know, for three minutes, you're shooting for hours and hours and hours to get the footage. Um, and you know, the night wears on and now you're on the roof and it's cold and your feet hurt and you st everyone starts to get loopy together, which is actually probably my favorite part because all the filters go and then we're all just being kind of crazy. There's not enough coffee in the world to save it and we're, it's almost fun. <laughs> this is Liz Ann Hill of Starling Glow here with Entertainment Scoop.